So, the legend is true. Hi, this is Chris, and welcome to the Adventures in Odyssey interactive CD-ROM game. You're about to join Connie, Wit, and Eugene on a dangerous and mysterious quest. What's that, Wit? Oh, I'm not sure. Some kind of package from Marty. Marty? As in Martin McAllister? Huh, I recognize this from an old history book on Odyssey. It's a portrait of the Peter McAllister family. It appears to be from the 1900s. Oh, and here's a note. What? What is it? It appears he's in some sort of trouble. Trouble? Dear Wit, I was carrying our old family painting to the car when it started to rain. Before I could get it to the car, some of the painting smudged. I was horrified. I took the painting to Gustav Schmidt to be restored. He's very expensive, but he's also the best art dealer in Odyssey. As Gustav worked on the painting, I thought I saw some images start to appear that weren't there before. He asked if I could leave so he could concentrate better on his work. Like a fool, I did, but I returned within the hour. I was determined to get my painting back. The images I saw were gone. Gustav was angry. He said he needed more time to finish. I took the painting, but I believe I may be in danger now. And so, I'm sending this painting to you for safekeeping. Please see if there's some way you can restore the hidden images. And thank you for keeping this all confidential. Sincerely, Marty. Wow, that's strange. This sounds intriguing in the current sense of the term intriguing. Look closely at this painting. There's some kind of object that's been uncovered. This may be far-fetched, but I think this object may have something to do with the McAllister legend. You mean that legend about the lost treasure? Exactly. I think that's why Gustav was so interested. I'm going to need some help to figure this out. Speaking on behalf of Miss Kendall, she and I would be glad to assist you, Mr. Whitaker. I'll employ the datacom and peruse the Odyssey web portal to discover any connections between Odyssey history and this painting. I believe it may prove helpful. Thank you, Eugene. And you know, I think my virtual scanner can help me reveal those hidden images in the painting. And I'll use the Odyssey web portal to see what I can dig up on the McAllister family. I've always been curious about this secret family legend of theirs. To continue with the story, you must select to play as one of the characters. You may change characters at any time on the map under the options icon. All right, time to use the virtual scanner. Maybe I can reveal the background image in this painting. Strange. Why does the room in this painting look so familiar? <laughs> Knowing Eugene, he'll find something on this in his web portal research. What if I zoom in here? Let's make this larger. Hold on. Zooming in, I can see the Twin Hills. I've heard there's an abandoned mine somewhere around the Twin Hills. Could the sword be pointing toward the mine? Is that where the lost treasure is buried? Oh. Okay, time to check out the Odyssey web portal thingy to see what I can dig up. Hmm, where should I start? Oh, here we go, the McAllister family. Cool! Wow, a 
According to family legend, Peter McAllister discovered some valuable ancient treasure in a castle overseas and brought it back to America in the spring of 1881. Twenty years later, Peter decided to grant his three children the secret treasure. Okay, so Mr. McAllister set up some kind of gauntlet of virtues, tests of character, to lead them to the treasure. But he died before he could tell them about it. So his kids never discovered the gauntlet or the treasure. How sad. Hmm, I wonder what Wit and Eugene found out. Aha! Uh -huh. This must be it. A book called The Secret Legend of the Lost McAllister Treasure by Eric Schmidt. Copyright 1902. Schmidt? Huh. I wonder if he was related to this Gustav guy. Hmm. I wonder what Witten Eugene found out. Now to access the Odyssey web portal and enter the world of Odyssey history. Compensation humus, or the proverbial pay dirt. Look at all these topics. And here we are. Characteristics of the legendary Sword of the Spirit. Aha! The McAllister legend is the story of an ancient treasure buried and lost forever. One account, unconfirmed, is that the treasure is actually an ancient battle sword named Sword of the Spirit. Well, this is rather exciting. This is truly remarkable. It appears Mr. Gustav Schmidt is somewhat of an expert on art history and painting restoration. Interesting. Gustav's ancestors feuded with the McAllisters over some lost treasure. Now to delve deeper into the Sword of the Spirit. Hmm, a picture of the alleged battle sword itself. Very interesting. Yes, it's becoming clear now. These are Greek letters. Nine to be exact. And if my Greek is correct, the word is exipureto. I believe exipureto is translated to serve. That is, to serve as a soldier serves. And what else does it say here? Each symbol on the sword is said to represent a virtue. All right, time to compare notes. Connie, what did you find? Okay. There was this guy named Eric Schmidt. Around 1900, he wrote a book called The Secret Legend of the Lost McAllister Treasure. Did you say Schmidt, as in Gustav Schmidt? They could be related. That's what I was thinking. Anyway, McAllister wanted to pass on this ancient treasure to his three kids. So he set up this gauntlet of virtues that they had to pass in order to get the treasure. But the night before he planned to tell them about it, he died. Just before he died, he wrote this weird message. The ancient sword will point the way to... And that was it. The ancient sword will point the way to what? Oh, maybe I can answer that. Take a look at the painting now. Is that the sword of the spirit? Indeed. I recognize the nine Greek letters. My research shows there were nine symbols on the sword, each one representing a virtue. But they form a word, too. Exipireto. That's Greek for to serve as a soldier serves. And the mantle in the painting? It's the same one you now have stored in the basement, Mr. Whitaker. This painting was painted on these premises. Wow! Precisely! If we can uncover this gauntlet, we may be able to finally locate the ancient treasure. Whatever that sword is, it's said to be powerful. I wouldn't want Gustav to get his proverbial hands on it. Well, the best I can tell, the sword points to the Twin Hills. I think that's the place to start. Indubitably! Hello, John Whitaker speaking. If you want to see Marty again, meet me at the Twin Hills Mine. All three of you. Or you'll be responsible for what happens to Marty. And don't try calling the police. Wait, who is this? Is this some sort of... I believe that was the voice of Gustav Schmidt. I don't think it's wise to go along with this. But what if this guy isn't fooling around? We've got to at least check it out. For Marty's sake. It's against my better judgment, but... All right, then. 
Let's get to the mind. Well, here we are. Twin Hills. Feels a little spooky in here. Oh, this place has been sealed up for years, and it looks like that rock at the entrance was moved very recently. Look, there's something carved on the rock. Some kind of poem. Ponder, my children, ponder the start, for this quest for the treasure will soon test your heart. My children, remember the words I have spoken. A three-stranded cord is not easily broken. A gauntlet of virtues awaits you inside. Pull up on three levers to start on the ride. Look, three sets of footprints carved into the rock with names on them. Emily, Evan, Nathan. This must be the start of the Gauntlet of Virtues. It appears we are to stand in certain positions. I don't feel good about this. This could be a trap. <laughs> you are one perceptive fellow, Wit. It's all simple, really. You three are about to take the place of the three lovely McAllister children. And you will lead me to the treasure. What have you done with Marty? Marty is, shall we say, tied up right now. Why do the evil bad guys always use that line? It's so lame. Silence! It is now time for you three to take on the Gauntlet of Virtues and find the sword. Marty's future depends on it. What's going on right- <laughs> 